Hello everybody, welcome to Cake's Closet. I am so excited guys. Cake rise up and that to my channel if you haven't please watch if you just watched and you haven't subscribed please subscribe turn on the notification bell and like my channel and please share my channel um i like did a survey if it's the right word to use on what would people like to use on my channel so what i came across is that most of the people who watch my previous videos are actually beginners and they want me to focus on one step um that come on like yeah on a step that brings up the makeup look together i can see if i'm making sense so today get the focus on contouring why do we contour what to use when you contour and what to look out for and what to actually focus so contouring is 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 to actually what the what does we say an easier word so it's kind of all fancy and using all these big words and a person is a beginner and they're like oh sorry so how contour do you actually cut in your face you shaping you giving your face mufutu shapey hangwa litinya like yaka we yet the slenderizer high be una little bowza while a cutter how na lima ramu wa slicer so that is contouring how na lis pounza like me na was cut so that is what I'm going to teach you guys today so I all I have all my contouring products with me today not actually all but some of the ones some of the products that I would use and which are also beginner friendly so this is a contour uh, palette and a highlight palette that I bought from Essence. And I think I bought it a while back. And then this one is by um, Black Radiance. It's a contour palette as well. Contour and highlight palette. And what else do I have? Oh, I also have a foundation stick. So you, these are the products which you can use to contour your face. And also concealer. If you use a dark concealer, you can go for a darker concealer to contour your face. But you have to be aware when you use a cream product like a stick foundation or you use a concealer that is cre in a cream form, you need to blend the product. You can either use it, you use a, a, a sponge to blend, you can use a brush to blend, it's up to you. But you need to take your time and you need to be patient and you also have to set. When I talk about setting, is using the powder product, which is this one. And how the dog who got the the cream, you set it or not it's got move. That's what you use. But you can use the same color, like like a dark color, like it's on a the cream product that you just used. Take your time when you contour because other people don't take the time and they look funny. So you wear how contour are you put it some footwear but not so how I Like now I'm born now I look like I'm pale, I'm dull, I'm blank, and I'm just a white piece of paper. So now I'm going to define my face. Get ready for my footwear. I'm going to na ebe. Okay, la one. What I'm going to use today is a, uh, a powder product because. I don't want to take all my time so this video is going to be like if you're going to work and you want to contour because a lot of people that actually commented on my previous videos or actually said they request one two three it's the people who are working so if you're a student i'm sure you have more time to do your face so you can use 50 steps that i usually do to do your me dark yeah medium to dark use medium to dark because i really want to define my face and i enjoy cont contouring hotanya like i enjoy it so much even though in Ghana with the little especially when i beat my face to go there when i beat my face to god i try to take a longer time like an hour to an hour 30 minutes to just do my makeup because i properly blend my makeup other things that people have to look at when they contour is that the type of hairstyle that you can have so when you have a weave you can get away with not blending properly like here at the sides because your hair will be like this but when you have a band 
like a high hairstyle you need to be very very careful that you do not leave any marks on your face that look like what the does she have on her face so you need to take your time and be just there when you blend i like you no know, you guys should staple your brush not move it because when you staple um your makeup looks more airbrushed and looks nicer and when you move it because then you're going to move all your foundation and all the hard work that you already create you've already um did on your face and then after then you you can see you see the difference like from not contouring so i've i've loved using this brush to contour so i like contouring my forehead because i have a massive forehead so i like making my forehead a bit not too much just a bit smaller so so i will also also, also be confident about your contouring game <laughs> if you're not you can do something like this like oh it's a three number three oh number three isn't that easy i think this one will work yeah i think number three. can my mirror right now so this is Much better than that gamonana because of the warmth contouring it so then i would do this so i'm going to use this brush this side and i'm going to use the others the other side so i usually start with my face and i cut my liboza <laughs> liboza like uh -huh. okay Okay, so let me use another brush so that you see so always remember to hold your makeup brush at the end so that you don't you're not heavy with the product that you have wherever you're applying it either your your eyeshadow or your foundation or your contouring products like now It doesn't really take time but it does take time depending on the product that you use as I said to do I mean earlier on so make sure you take your time when you do I always take my time when I do my makeup guys I always take my time and then When I contour my nose, I like using a, a thin brush, like for example, this foundation brush to contour. And I start where my eyebrows start because it makes it easier for me. So this side, I'm going to start where my eyebrows start. And you also blend it in. So if you want a small, like a shorter nose, you would cut it here. If you want a long nose, you would just walk, work at the side of your nose. Uh, and then you blend. You make sure you blend. Yo, I've seen the noses that run around when they contour, so I always try not to use that girl. <laughs> then you take like an eyeshadow brush like this one then you blend it in whatever product that you have so this will make it easy for you to uh, know like to get the perfect shape is for you to go with the shape of your nose because if you don't go with the shape of your nose you're gonna look very very weird see Can you see the difference already, Jay? 
and then you go the side so we're going to work still want to look snatched but they don't want to spend the entire day in front of the mirror so you would use this routine that i'm using now of just using powder products yeah i think this method is better for people who, or if you have a meeting and you're running late but you still want to look snatched this is the look do you see the difference <laughs> makeup so that's it. If you want, this is for if you want your nose to look short. And when I'm going to no, you define the hand. I took my time. Hi, Kibata, but now we need to know if this is this is what I do. I would. Now, if I if I buttoned, buttoned, I don't know, it's a button nose or something. My brush. Maybe this one that I do use. Because I like a really big contour on my cheek or your face. Um, you go here. You would also contour your, your jawline if you want your chin to look longer. So what you would do is, let me use a smaller brush so that I can contour further. This is what I want you to do. But you, I don't usually do this. I just don't, it's not part of my routine this one, but if you want, let me how, let me say, on that list, let me path, and you actually want it to be long, this is what you would do. So, meaning you would give the illusion as, yeah, when now you have a longer face, not a round one. But remember, when you come to always consider the type of face that you have, do you have an oval face, do you have a round face, do you have a square face, you know? So that you don't look like it's pungo. <laughs> okay, so on this palette, I usually use this one by Essence on my nose because I really love my nose to be snatched with the same product. Then I start here at the bottom because now I have a very dark product on my on my on my brush. So I wanna be, I wanna be able to, I wanna be able to control it, whatever that I have. Oh, and here, like I did, and here, cause I want this bone to look like it's there, like like a hole. Not that I have a problem with being black, but come on. Why do we have makeup if you cannot transform yourself in a good way? Not that you're insecure or anything. Okay, so I decided to do my eyeshadow while you guys are looking. So this is a no an everyday basic look. Okay, I have my mirror in front of the camera. Ugh. So I would use my uh, palette, yeah, Nikki, controlling my face. Yeah, um, the contour shade and i would use it as a transition shade so actually i'm just using one palette though no stress and remember to blend do you see the difference between this eye and this one like this one is already defined. So this is my transition shade. You don't use a lot of product. Just a little. And this side. Brush like this one. To go on my lower. The lower part of my eye. Eyelid and blend it's a bit more makeup you see when i go also yellow rosa and i still use the same palette but now i'm going in with the sculpt shade to 
to just go a bit lighter. Just think this eye look where I'm so that you would definitely be funny. As my highlighter, I'm going in here. You can use your fingers to apply your makeup, but it's just dirty. But you don't have to invest on brushes if you don't have the money to and the heart to. To define my eyes and give them a bit of shape going in with my contour shade. So this is my powder brush. I then just clean whatever that I feel like fell out. And there it is. Is it safe to say that this is bomb? Guys, this is my favorite look. It's easy, it gets straight to the point. I show you how to contour different products to use, different brushes, and Galewa for everything. I thank you for watching. I thank you. I thank you for subscribing. I thank you for liking. I thank you for being part of the Cake Fabulous world. I am just thankful and I love it. Uh, what I just did, I just added highlighters to my face and that was on my cheeks and the kids are going to get this little and I look snatched and I do not use a lot of makeup. I used one palette to contour and I used the same palette to you I used it as my eyeshadow so a very easy look and just mascara and you're good to go but do take this tip into hand that when you use less product on your face or when you use less steps on your face you turn the product does not last as long so do use a matte setting spray to make your makeup last longer Thank you.